join the session. We are going to um, have a wonderful session, I believe. Um, my name is Catherine Chacha, uh, a manager in the business. Very, very excited uh, to be able to uh, learn because uh, I believe uh, when it comes to skills training, as much as you're training, you're also learning and we're learning together. And these are basically reminders on uh, how we are building our business. And um, so I'll go straight to the presentation. Um, please let me know if you can see my slides. Can you be able to see my, my slides, please? Someone confirm? Yes, you can see your slides. Thank you so much. Thank you. So um, uh, good evening once again. Uh, thank you. Uh, today we are going to move forward. I know we have uh, looked at various topics uh, in the past uh, uh, training, uh, the last three trainings. The main aim of this presentation is just to assist uh, all of us, and especially the new FBOs who have joined in the business, on how to create a structure and how to use the system that is available to us to build a business. That is the first steps to manager. From my background, we normally call it um, like an SOP, like a standing operating procedure. Basically, how, how to get things done. This is something that uh, we will be training over and over again, uh, month in, month out. So I expect that even as we continue moving forward, we are going to improve on this content and all the leaders in here. So um, thank you for taking time to be part of this session. So, um, so far uh, in terms of the network, networking skills, we have covered getting ready for success. We have covered the understanding team marketing. We have looked at developing the right mindset. Uh, we have also looked at clarifying your vision, dreams and goals, how to tell your story, you know, um, Introduction to the first steps to manager, prospecting for diamonds, you know, contacting what do you say when you're talking to your clients for the first time, uh, how do you send information, how do you follow up, that is actually what we looked at in the last session, building your pipeline, the people that you're talking to, the people that are, you're interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis, how are you able to track them, and doing a great one-on-one. -on -one. So the topics that have remained are products. Uh, Why Forever Products, which is what we're going to talk about today, methods of retailing, uh, 20 to 30 customers, customer care, volume mapping for CC Foundation, uh, becoming a leader, actions expected, uh, actions, expectations and results, and uh, forever incentives, and of course your two to five year plan. So I like starting with this slide so that we can be able to orientate ourselves. If you're watching this for the first time, just know that there are other parts that you probably will need to go to, to go through, but uh, I'm really happy to have you here so that we can also uh, learn together. So we did uh, touch on contacting what to say because uh, we, I, I started looking at uh, the process of uh, the business cycle first. Who do you know contacting? What do you say? How do you handle objections? Uh, we looked at uh, sending information and follow up. And uh, I will really add you, if you've not seen the part three of the session, please uh, find time to do that. We learn each and every day. And as you continue learning, continue building on your notes because uh, someone you're going to introduce will really need them. Yeah, uh, Building your pipeline and doing a great one-on-one. -on -one, these are some of the topics that we, we did. So today we are going to cover uh, why forever products, methods of retailing, uh, 20 to 30 customers, and customer care. And I hope you're going to get value out of this. I'm very excited. So it's good to have a reminder on uh, what exactly we do. Uh, one is we use the product. Yeah, we become your your own best customer. Yeah, so that you develop a confidence. Uh, this is like um, our our job description. Basically, simple and clear and to the point. The next thing we do is we share the products. We talk to people about the benefits and uh, what you experience and we develop uh, uh, customers. The third thing is we build a team. This is just an overview for us to understand what we do in forever, yeah? We use the products, we share the products, talk about the benefits and we recommend, we advise to have at least 20 to 30 customers. And as you continue growing, you're going to have even more than that, yeah? 
build a team, talk to people about the business opportunity and coach them. So the system that we are talking about, the first steps to manager, is basically going to guide us through each and every step and how to go about this whole process and how to uh, account for the results that we get on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis for us to achieve our goals. So straight on, we're going to talk about uh, products. What products do we have in Forever? We have the Forever, we have the aloe vera drinks, we have the uh, B products, we have nutritional supplements, we have weight management, um, we have uh, uh, the combination packs, we, like the Vital 5, uh, we have the mini combo, we have uh, the Start Your Journey combo pack, um, we have skin care, we have personal care and uh, household items. Basically, all this geared towards helping you to look and feel better. So why these products? We have a wide range of products, and I want to highlight why are they unique. One, Forever Living is the largest grower and harvester of, and, and uh, manufacturer of aloe vera uh, and bee products worldwide. That tells you that they know what they are doing, and they've been doing it for over four decades, almost four and a half decades. Yeah, that is uh, over 46 years. That gives you uh, uh, confidence that the products that you're dealing with are, are tried and tested and they have been there for a while and forever has been the, has, has stood out among its others, making sure that they give the best, not just aloe vera, but the best quality aloe vera, which is the aloe babadensis miller. There are over 300 species of aloe vera, but they've chosen the best kind and that is what we get. Uh, to to use and to recommend. Of course, we're talking about superior quality products that are organic and supported by science, yeah, backed by science. And that tells you that uh, these are products that you want to, you, you're confident to use, that you know that they have no uh, side effects and they are really good for you, for your whole family, right, from any age, from young children to uh, older parents, all of them can use the products. They are products that benefit everybody Every, every system in the body. We're talking about skincare. We're talking about uh, anti-aging products. We're talking about personal care. We're talking about uh, products for dental health, personal hygiene. We're talking about weight management. I mean, the market that you can tap in is so wide. Yeah, We're talking about products that boost energy levels, boost immunity. Like now we have the aloe vera challenge, which all of us are excited about. And we are really, really talking about our flagship products, the aloe vera drink. So um, we have a wide range of products to choose from. What we normally say is, uh, as you begin to understand, the best part is when you join the business and you get, when, when you join the product trainings that are done on online uh, on Tuesdays and offline on Fridays, so that you can be able to understand what is unique, what, uh, what benefits are my clients going to, to, to enjoy, because that is what's going to help us to make more and more sales, okay? And also, when you when you ha when you take a look at the literature that we have, uh, uh, we have the product catalog. I believe each and everyone has. It's it's actually the first uh, few pages. You you get to read about why why our products unique, why our products uh, standing out. You know why are our products the best in the market, and why you will never see them in the high street uh, markets, maybe the shopping malls. You will not see them in the shopping malls because Forever uses the direct sales um, uh, uh, marketing concept, which is why we are here, to talk about these amazing products, to use them and to be able to build a business with them. Yeah. So you be confident uh, when, you make, when you're talking to your customers because um, you have the best product uh, in place for you to build a business. Then now we go to understanding case credits. Why I'm talking about case credits is because every product has a value. A case credit is basically a currency that the, the Forever Company uses to make sure that uh, uh, we understand the business from all uh, countries. Forever operates in over 150 countries, and you and we want all and, and all the Forever business owners are comfortable and confident when they are building the global business that despite the different currencies that we have across different countries that we can speak one language, CC, the case credit. So every product has a case credit. Every product has a value. And so as we understand the products and as we share them, as we recommend them, 
we have business targets, we have key uh, performance indicator, which is basically uh, encouraged as we do the 4CC. 4CC is a basic requirement in our business. And uh, just to expound on it, 4CC helps us to unlock the earning potential of the marketing plan in forever. It is a monthly requirement, a target that we normally have, and it helps us to build stable business. And we also are able to duplicate and grow uh, uh, and further. In fact, we have incentives around this 4CC, and now we're not just talking about four, we're talking about five. And I believe that everyone who is part of this training is, uh, is, uh, is uh, focusing towards the dinner incentive of 5CC and above. Yeah. So uh, being 4CC active means now, as, even as an assistant supervisor, you're able to, um, to make more money, you're able to earn team leading bonuses uh, as a supervisor and above, you're able to qualify for all incentives. So for any incentive in forever, you must be 4CC active, leading as, uh, by example. Yeah. So uh, when we come to customers, how do we retail to our customers? How do we showcase our products to our customers? Now that we have used the products, I'm assuming that as all of us have started the business, whether you started with the combo pack, with the start your journey pack, or you started uh, uh, as a uh, preferred customer with maybe with one or two few products, maybe for uh, 0 0.5 CC or 1 CC, whichever products that you started with, uh, beginning there, now you're able to learn more and more about the products. How else do we now reach out? Because you probably will be having your box and now you're asking yourself, how do I get these products to move to the next people, to, to, to my potential customers? One, we have product launches or business launches. This is the best way to actually uh, network and market to, especially your warm list, your warm market, the people that you know, warm and hot. <laughs> Understand there's hot and warm. Eh? Hot are the people who, of course, you know, uh, and are with you like family, relatives, Warm, I think it's friends, colleagues, and, uh, you know, acquaintances. And then now we talk about the cold market. So even before we go beyond uh, uh, looking at all the markets and uh, who is available, let's look at the way you will market. There's the business launches, there's product talks, health talks. These are talks that you can actually do online, offline. Yeah. As long as you have a group of people, uh, even if it's a group, even if it's one person, use any and every opportunity to talk about the products, talk about the benefits. So you can we can even have like themed sessions, for example, like the way we are doing the women, women empowerment session. We're going to be having definitely a talk about health products for women. Yeah. So even in our own teams, in our own uh, businesses, we can talk about these products. In social media, this is really exciting because uh, almost every FBO has their own pages across the social media, be it Facebook, be it Instagram, TikTok, and all that. Um, we can also market to uh, uh, to our customer, potential customers in uh, tabletops, events, yeah, where you can be able to have your banner, you can have your, your products uh, display there, and you can be able to share with as many people as you can. Talk, uh, we also look at referrals, yeah? Even as we do the one-on-ones, there are people who probably might not be for the business idea, but they will be open for products. So never miss a chance to, to ask about re referrals. Even if the person you're talking to does not uh, use the products, or even if they use the products. In fact, if they use the products, they'll even help you more, yeah? They'll be able to give you more and more referrals, yeah? Because they are already uh, have a test, they most likely have a testimony. When you're giving gifts, consider giving gifts for uh, with Forever products. I love giving gifts, so I know this is one thing that people will appreciate. They'll always say, ah, ule ketua forever, nani le tianga ile bagia, you know, gift hamper or something. You know, people will never uh, for, forget. In fact, when you give them uh, gifts and you include Forever products in there, now they'll become your customers because once someone starts using these wonderful products, they can they 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 actually uh, tend to continue more and more and now they'll become your customers whenever they, even there is a fundraising you can even offer to 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 do uh, like um an extension uh, you 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 can do like a tabletop and talk to the person who's who's doing the fundraising so that whoever who is uh, going to purchase from you there's a percentage that goes for 
to to support the cause that you're doing there. So there are many creative ways that you can think about. And that's why I'll invite you. During this session, I would really encourage you to have your first steps to manager because sometimes we probably have not had time to read it through. So I'm talking about page eight, where we are talking about showing and telling uh, and showing and retailing our products. So in the showcase, maybe if I can just read through the, uh, we've talked about the business launch, marketing, sports and fitness. If you love sports and you love fitness, make sure we have amazing range of products that uh, are specifically suited for, for people who are into sports. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've already mentioned fundraising, referrals, mini launches, one-on-one. -on -one. Definitely when you're doing a one-on-one, -on -one, you have to have a product. Remember, my upline will always tell me, even if it's a two, even if it's have a product at any point in time when you're talking about this business. Yeah. And you can always do like a product demo. A product demo doesn't need to have a whole wide range of products. You just need to have one or two, even if it's in your handbag or in your pocket, even if it's an aloe leaf. Because we 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 develop what our great leader uh, Josephine Modekeli says an aloe mouth yeah you always always talking about our, our brand you always talking about our products and that's exactly what we need to do coffee mornings there are very many uh, networking sessions that normally happen and uh, I've seen such that uh, maybe like women come together they want to talk about uh, a, a business uh, uh, agenda and then now they give opportunities for tabletops so that. The people who are interested can, can showcase their products. That is one thing you can also do. Yeah, you can also organize. Um, joining clubs, yeah, joining clubs, and you can also share uh, the products there, having your own website. Yes, of course, making sure that it's, it's in line with the company policy. Yeah, that's very, very, very important. So looking at Start Your Journey Pack, we've had several very good sessions with our top leaders. Um, um, uh, Josephine and Marianne uh, Mulua, who have also taken us through the Start Your Journey Pack and new distributor orientation. And they really expounded a lot on the benefits of these wonderful products. So when you look at towards the last pages of uh, first step, uh, your First Steps to Manager book, booklet, there is a part where they are highlighting the products that are in the Start Your Journey Pack. And you get to see the benefits. So even this is something that you can go through with your with your upline as you're planning for your launch, maybe your first and second launch. Go through this pack as you invite the people, as you're thinking about who you're inviting. Look at this page and highlight who would use these products. Why do we use these products? One, to be your own best customer. You want to have a product story. It helps to even start a conversation, yeah, when you want to talk about the products. I always love starting about, I, I always love using my own product story and then switch to business, yeah? Because it, it, it can even show the enthusiasm that, uh, that I have about the products. I remember how my skin used to break out and it was looking really bad. And now the people who knew me then and those who know me now can actually tell that, yes, these are a huge difference. And that gives me confidence and they can already even see the energy and the excitement of what I'm talking about. Of course, we use the products for the incredible benefits that they have. As I've just mentioned, there are many people, we have so, so many testimonials that, uh, that are proof that our products work. Yeah. So that is also one of the reasons why we are using the products to build belief. Because if you talk about something that you have not used, something that you don't believe, uh, something that you don't even know how it looks like, it's very hard. To, to make a, a sale, yeah? Personally, I feel that even if you've not used the whole range, you can start with your product story about the one product that you have used. Maybe it is a tooth gel and you have uh, enjoyed and you have used and you have felt the difference, yeah? And that one story now helps you to build confidence talking about these others, yeah? It, of course, by using the product, it helps you to do your 4CC and it helps you lead by example. So we have many pages start all across page 30, 31, different products, different, different benefits. You ask yourself, who would use these products and who do you know who will uh, benefit from them, yeah? Why would they use them? And, and you, you fill that, that list of the names on the right. And then now these are the people that you're actually going to invite them to your launch. And nowadays, we are not only talking about uh, doing an an off uh, an offline launch. You can also do an online launch, especially for those people who are living away from where you you are probably in a different town. Yeah. 
So also, um, we, we now focus on one way that I feel is so, so important when it comes to building confidence and and, and, and having you know, a customer base as fast as possible, that is by doing a business launch. Why would you want to do a business launch? Yeah. One, during the business launch, you learn. Yeah, It's training on its own. You learn about the products because the person who introduced you to the business is going to come and support you during the launch. Yeah, They'll come with, and, 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 and let me say, like unpack the Start Your Journey Pack. If it's the Start Your Journey Pack products that you have yeah, on the table, they're going to talk about each and every product. Yeah, It's a quick and simple way and duplicatable. Yeah, A simple way to showcase your, your products to many people at once during the business launch in a space where you're comfortable, you're talking to people who you know or people who you are acquainted with. And uh, basically that's why we even have it um, written there that you, you, the first thing you do once you join the business is you schedule at least two launches in a month. Yeah, with a target. Of course, you know that you want to do your four CC and more. So that is basically one way. We are going to be covering volume mapping in the next session. So this is also one way that you're going to to make sure you boost uh, your sales and also sponsor people. Yeah, we do we do launches so that we can start earning retail profit. The people that attend your launch are the same people who are either going to join the business and you will sponsor them, or they are going to buy the products. Yeah, so. Basically, that is one way you, it helps you to, uh, to build your customer base immediately. Yeah? So when you're talking about the business launch, yeah, you need to be keen to know that uh, uh, you, you need to schedule uh, a specific time for it. Yeah? Give it at least between 45 to 60 minutes yeah? so that you can be able to do the presentation. without. Uh, don't make it so long. Don't make it too short again and too brief. Yeah, it has to at least you need to at least cover the different ranges of the products that we are talking about and also talk about the, the business opportunity. Personally, I like using the one on one. You can also use maybe if you have a laptop, you can use the same uh, laptop. But I, I prefer using the one on one because it's easily anyone can have it and, and use it. And it's a simpler way to duplicate within the team. Yeah. So. Um, how do you how to have a launch when you're doing your first launch? Remember, you will not you will not be alone. Your sponsor will be there to guide you. So if, right from the planning stages, you know, from the, how you're going to plan, what you're going to do. That's why I love this business. You're, you're not doing it. You're not doing it by yourself. Yeah, you have the support system. You have the you have people who are going to help you on a step by step uh, 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 journey. So what do we do? Um, how to so how are you going to plan your launch? One, you're going to create a guest list. Yes, definitely you're going to do that. That's why we talked. We even covered the, the aspect of writing a who do you know list. Yeah. So definitely if you're going to have a launch, for example, you're, you're launching your business uh, in a particular space, invite the people who are going to be there and uh, book the venue. If you're going to do it in your home, you're going to do it at a hotel, you're going to do it at a particular place, make sure you book the venue, purchase the products, and the literature that you're going to use during the session, yeah. Sorry, verbally invite guests and ask them to come with a friend, yeah. You you increase the chances of having more and more people in your in your in your launch, yeah. Contact your guests prior to the event and confirm attendance. It's very very important, especially the 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 pre, the night be before the the launch, yeah. Get them excited. So don't don't just um, you know uh, leave them. Invite them once and and forget about them. Get them excited as you continue contacting them, and you you can keep on uh, giving them a, a good reason why they need to come to your event and what they're going to enjoy, what they're going to benefit. I mean, like us ladies, we love having uh, baby showers and bridal showers. How about we call this like a business shower and we. We talk about our amazing business uh, to as many people as we can. Revise your product knowledge. Eh? It's very, very important. Uh, uh, even as you prepare to, 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 to launch your business, what I have learned from experience is that sometimes, even when you invite your sponsor, there are those people who will still come and ask you 
<laughs> because they know you and they have connected with you. So even if the sponsor comes and tells them about one, two, three, this is this is the product and all, they will still come and ask you. And so when you have the knowledge about the product, when you have the knowledge about the business, it gives them confidence and it gives you more chances. And uh, I mean, it increases the chances of you sponsoring or making the sale. Yeah. Then now you host your events. So of course, have a display depending on what you want. Me personally, I love making sure that in every launch, people get to taste and feel and apply the products that we have and so that they can be able to, uh, you know, uh, also create a, a story on their, or uh, as they are uh, experiencing the product. Set up your display. This is now when we are doing the actual launch. Set up your display, provide light refreshments if it's required. You know, the African nature in us, you cannot have guests at your home and then they come and you go. So uh, maybe that's uh, one way you look at it, but don't make it expensive. Just something simple and, uh, and the most the main the main goal is that you don't you don't overstretch yourself yeah the most important thing is you get to share the products get to share your business and people if people are really in serious they'll come and 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 promote you especially if they are your friends yeah they'll come and promote you so the third thing is now you present promote and demonstrate the product yeah have them feel have them touch have them ask questions be free be comfortable yeah talk about the opportunity yeah, for me, it's easier to talk about the products, have them sample them out. And then now I, I talk about the business, but you can also do vice versa, whichever works best for you. Yeah, make sure you have like customer feedback forms, which are very important because one, it helps you make sure you have the contact of everyone who has attended your launch. Yeah, it makes you uh, know that uh, you, got, you have the contact and you now are, are able to follow up with them. Yeah. Take orders. Those there are those people who will be excited and they will want to, to use the product like immediately. So uh, take the orders. Invite them to the next exposure. Like now we know that when someone attends your business launch, the next exposure will probably be a one on one or probably be a, a BOM. You can invite them even to the online sessions, the offline sessions. Make sure that the people who are coming they know what next. Yeah, I always believe that it's one exposure to the next exposure to the next exposure. So don't let, don't leave them hanging. Follow up with the guests after the event. That is very very crucial because now you're able to close more sales. Some people will want to hear again. Will will want to hear from you again and again. That's why after the launch, use that time to explain. Explain that you will stay for a while to answer the questions. So even as you're doing the presentation, so that now you can actually get to talk to each and every person. Encourage everyone to try the products. Yeah. There are those people who especially like probably if they are having uh, issues with their back or they are having uh, muscle aches. So when they get to feel how the um, aloe heat feels, you know, they're like, they'll be, they'll be like, yes, I want this product. There are women who love skincare and once they get to feel how good the aloe jelly is, they would love this product and they'll want to, to use it. So speak to each guest. If you can, try as much as possible. Go through the, the, the customer feedback form that you have. Just a, It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can even be your receipt book. It can be just a, a book, a visitor's book. I always like having that so that you can be able to keep a record and know when I did this launch, this is what it this is what it costed me. This is this is these are the number of people who showed up. And now you're able to to follow up because remember you're going to put all those records again in your business, uh, in your business uh, records. Yeah. Start building rapport and build relationships, especially if you are a sponsor and you're you are doing the launch for your for your team member. It, maybe by the time they are developing confidence to be able to talk to many people, as they continue building the confidence, the upline, what we normally uh, do is make sure that you build those relationships, even with the people who they know, so that they, you, we can be able to support them and help your team member to, to sponsor and to make sales. That builds a strong relationship, so that uh, a strong business relationship, so that you can be able to build even deeper, deeper business, yeah, that you can have more and more le levels of people joining your business, yeah. For guests interested in the business, give them information and agree a time to follow up. Always agree a time to follow up. Never leave the conversation hanging. Always agree on a time to follow up. Either follow up, physically follow up with a call. When schedule it in your diary, that means that your diary needs to be close to you so that you can be able to uh, 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 note when exactly they'll be available for that. 
So um, remember important things du during retailing facts tell, but sorry, stories tell. Yeah, like for example, uh, the way we are we are in the Allo challenge, we love talking about the stories. When you when we have those testimonials, yeah, talk about the testimonials. Talk about the testimonials. Like for C nine, you can be able to see the differences. Yeah. Yeah, people people relate more when you tell a story about someone either you know or yourself. People can be able to relate more with that because it connects to their emotional side, and now they're able to make purchases. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, another important thing is you be your own customer. That one I've already talked about. And the good thing is, it, of course, it helps generate immediate income, cash to cover your business expenses. Yeah. Because uh, I believe that, uh, for example, if you started this business with a start your journey pack, the 52,000 was not just lying somewhere in your account. Probably it was a savings account. Probably it's, it's you who funded it from your savings account, or maybe you borrowed from somewhere and you want to return it back. So basically, you want to make sure that this is a profitable business and you're not just using all the profits for for, for your own personal use. So you want to make sure that as you continue generating profits, you're able to record and keep this record so that you continue building uh, your business and, and making more income. And 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 uh, when you're able to, to meet all your business expenses and cover and now pay yourself for your personal expenses. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. Not all. What I mean is not all business profit is for your personal expenses. No. It's actually all for business, yeah? So now from the profits, now you can tell this is what's going to fund the business and I'm going to pay myself a particular amount for the for my own personal use, yeah? So you have money to replace the products. You have money to try new products. That's why it's so important for you to make uh, the retails, especially during this kind of exposure, yeah? Kind of exposure. Then we go to customer care. Why customer care? Customer care generates repeat sales yeah customer care gives us you, you know when 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 you've already like built a relationship with your clients yeah it's easy for them to ask you even more and more about what you do more and more about the products that they are using and it now depends on your relationship with them yeah you it's uh, custom when you do good customer care you are able to get more referrals because a happy client is like a billboard for your own brand yeah, a free billboard for your own brand. They will tell each and every person they know. For example, if someone has done C9 and they've lost uh, a few inches on their waist and they're excited, they've worn that, that uh, suit that they've not worn for more than two, three years. Believe you me, Akenda Kofisi, they'll be talking about you, 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 and they'll be giving you referrals. And uh, that's exactly what we want to do, build relationships. Yeah, Customer care also helps you to maximize the benefits for your customers, yeah? It helps you to introduce your clients to many more products, you know, a wider range of products, not just uh, maybe what they asked you initially. Now, because of customer care, you're able to, to tell them uh, uh, more uh, about other products. You're able to uh, maximize your retail earnings, yeah? If per customer even, yeah? You're able to increase customer loyalty, yeah? You're able to increase product awareness of the different ranges and you're able to, most importantly, have your customers join your team. Because this, for me, is a plus plus. When a customer joins my team, I know definitely that is someone who's going to be using the products for a long, 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 long time. Yeah, Because they're already loving the products. Because there are people who will join the business and probably might not really relate with the, with the products. Yeah. So as we go on... Um, when you're doing customer customer care, what you need to do is identify your customers' needs. Yeah, even as they continue, as you continue building a relationship with them, identify what is in, what is their unique pain point. Yeah, what are they struggling with in terms of their in terms of their their health and fitness? Yeah, and how can you be able to offer your products to 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 meet their needs? Yeah, and how can you be able to uh, get even feedback from them and build that relationship. Recommend the appropriate products and the benefits. Yeah, still very very crucial. You, it's very very crucial to attend the product trainings and learn because from there you get the confidence and you get the words to use. Even just the words to use. Sometimes 
as you as you learn you write it down and you can even read it out when you're talking when you're doing when you're having a conversation with the with the client take orders yeah take orders deliver the orders yourself if you can because when your customer sees you they'll remember they also need something else you probably could be uh, delivering a, 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 a deodorant and a tooth gel and probably your clients will see you and they will ask you about the C9. They'll ask you about the, the Allo Tripack. They'll ask you about the skincare. They'll ask you about the other different ranges. And because you, you are there, you find that you can be able to close more sales. Yeah. So follow up with your customer three to four days after delivery. Very, very crucial because you want to know whether the client is happy with the product. You want to know whether the client is using the product properly, yeah, and, and is comfortable with it. You want to know that probably they need something else, yeah? So be there to make sure that the customer is satisfied. Update your customer records. Very, very important. Update their contact details because you don't want to sell, uh, you sell, to, sell, to, sell to a client. And then now you, after like, three, uh, four months, you're like, oh my goodness, I, I did not write her contact. Uh, and, and, you know, you try to, to figure out where did you put the contact and it's, you, you can end up losing more business, yeah? So I always believe records are very, very important. I have customers that have kept since 2012 to date and I know how important it is, yeah? Products purchased, uh, understand uh, when you're recording, that's why we, we had that, we talked about the profile sheet. So when a client um, uh, when a client makes a purchase, make sure you have like the history. It's like when you go to the hospital and you talk to a to, 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 your, to your doctor and they pull out that form that talks about everything that you, you discussed during the previous uh, time you, you visited. Yeah, you feel good because you don't have to repeat yourself all the time, all the time. You know, it, it feels good when your client knows that you treat them, you, you give them very uh, professional treatment that you can remember their details and you know why they bought the product. If probably uh, a client bought omega-3 because of their child's uh, immunity, you can be able to recommend even other products that are suited for kids, like the the uh, absorbency, the forever kids, you know. And when you're able to, to relate that and, and uh, keep all that information together, it helps you to have a happy customer. And like we said, a happy customer is a billboard for your brand. Follow up again after 10 days for your for customer satisfaction very very important because here now you're you're re-establishing again the the loyalty yeah and it helps you to to get even more referrals and even have them if someone is very excited about the product you can even consider uh, inviting them to learn about the business or invite them to to host an event for you to host another launch for you so that when if they are happy about the product for example someone has done c9 and they are really happy about it why don't you have them invite two, three other ladies and you come and talk about that C9 program and how it works? Even if even if it's in the office, if, if they can be able to give you some few extra uh, minutes after work or in between their lunch break and stuff, you can be able to share about the products and then you can be able to uh, sponsor or um, make, uh, purchase, uh, make sales. Reorder for the customer once the product has run out. The good thing again about having customer records is that you can be able to tell this, my client bought uh, bought a C9 uh, on this date and they have been doing the C9 and now they're on day uh, six, seven. Now you're already starting to talk to them about the F15 if that's part of their goal and you're already following up to make sure that they know what next, what next, what next for them. If a client has bought a deodorant, for example, you know that a deodorant will last maybe like eight months. So... Prior to that, you already start conversations so that they are, you know that when the product runs out, you can be able to follow up and you can be able to sell to them as even more. So um, I don't know. <clears throat> I always say that don't be a follower, be a student. Personally, I love creating these, um, these uh, tables for my records. But if you're using a book, that's okay. I personally prefer to use the teach to reach um, uh, documents that uh, Jane Leach uses with her team. 
so you can be able to monitor like if you're monitoring your profits on a day-to-day -day basis you can keep your records the date when it was purchased who bought it at retail wholesale you can track how much profits you've made every week and when you talk about the 20 to 30 customers at a glance you can tell these are my customers these are my customers who have bought this month this year yeah and you're able to keep these records you can actually um use this to either create on excel or write in your book whichever way the most important thing is the information make sure that you have the con the content the records for your customers and you're able to follow up with them and you're able to introduce them to more products so my training today is brief and to the point and i want to close with this photo which uh reinforces the last quote i had last time that for, for the power of forever is the power of love let us go for it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let us continue with the ALO challenge and push to greater heights. Thank you so much, uh, Emmanuel, for this opportunity to train and uh, looking forward to the next session now where we're going to close with the volume mapping and leadership and, and our two to five year vision. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, if you've learned something from Kate this evening, let's appreciate her kindly. Let us appreciate Kate for the awesome training.